the, one of the things about Walter, too, that there's a couple of fun facts before we talk about his rugby achievements, is that Walter's actually a, a Sir Walter. He's a knight. What? <laughs> but it, and it, is, it is with the Knights of Columbus, though. <laughs> and he does, he does volunteer, and he, and, he, and he does participate in that worthy charity. And Walter's, uh, one of, Walter has a vice, other than rugby, that probably um, a lot of you might appreciate here. Walter loves cake. <laughs> and he's a cake connoisseur. Uh, most, a lot of people are pie people, but Walter's a, Walter's a cake person. And I, I said to Theo, is there, is, there a, is there a particular story that stands out about Walter that, um, that makes you laugh a little bit? And she said, yeah, there is something. Um, I don't know if, if you know this, but Walter can be... He, he could be a little bit budget conscious or a little bit frugal. <laughs> and she said when we, were, when we were first together in the wintertime, we were driving in the car, and, um, and the heat in the car was on, and I was driving with the window open, and he told me to please shut the window. We're wasting our gas. <laughs> <laughs> well, that shows you how uh, Walter, uh, you know, as a shark, we have our experience with frugal people, so Walter fits right in. Now to get on to his rugby achievements, this is quite impressive. When I met Walter in 1992, just as soon as he talked to me, I said, oh, he's got an accent. He must be a good rugby player. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't know, Walter, Walter, Walter's from Kenya, and he went to a, a, a school, and tell me if I pronounced this wrong, uh, Linana? Yes. Or so he went to Linana, and Linana was a, uh, it's sort of like an bo English boarding school in, in Kenya. So... Being it was an English boarding school, rugby was the, one of the primary sports. And Walter uh, went out and played on the rugby team as a, as a young age, and he, his skills quickly developed. And he was uh, one, of, one of the very few people, I think one of four people in a 68-year history in that school to make the starting 15 as a, as a sophomore. And from there, um, his, you know, his rugby skills took off. And he became um, one of the best defensive winger, wingers in that school system. And possibly, the story goes, if you Google it, there's a, there's a professional rugby player from Kenya named uh, Rumba? Uh, Rumbo. Rumbo. Yeah. And, it, and he was uh, considered one of the best rugby players in Kenya. And he's only a couple years older than Walter, but Walter's mate told me that many times there was discussions on how Walter was a better rugby player than him, or he was, uh, you know, and they would, they would debate who was better or who was better. So Walter left Kenya and he came to the Sharks in uh, 1992. And what we learned about Walter is, and, and if, if Coach Kenny was here and, uh, and a couple other people know him, while, know him for a while, they would tell you that Walter has a hell of a rugby IQ. Um, his, his game knowledge and his awareness and his tactical, uh, tactical abilities are just tremendous. And he was, and he, as a winger, he, he had speed, he, he, he could tackle, um, he, you know, he, he could run the ball incredibly well, and like I said, his defensive knowledge was top notch. And because of Walter, um, when he joined our team in 1992, we won the, we won the Division II uh, EPRU championships. And, uh, and went into the playoffs to play to, to get into Division One, and, and, and I, I, in my heart, I know Walter was a major contributing factor to the success of that team. So it's with great pleasure and a distinct honor that I am uh, going to induct Walter into the Hall of Fame for the Jersey Shore Sharks for 2008. <laughs>
to have really played with such an incredible group of rugby players and, and really to see how the club continues to grow. I mean, I've been in, you know, like you said, since 92, we've had the ups and downs. But, you know, just seeing most of you here today and most of those who actually are in the Hall of Fame uh, is, is really a great pleasure. And, and, and it really says when I found this club, you know, this was a club that was meant to be uh, the right place to be. You know, the camaraderie is really unparalleled. Uh, I really don't see it with most of the clubs. So, you know, truly from the bottom of my heart, you know, just want to say thank you very much. <laughs>
a very few. I mean, <laughs> this is uh, an incredible group. Uh, you know, it was 25 years ago, and we've talked about this a lot. Um, so I really, I want to thank all of you. Um, it's a high standard to be held to. It's something that when you're playing, you just think about the friends that you've made, and you never think about something like this. And you kind of realize that these are going to be the friends for the rest of your life. So this is a place we'll always come back to. You know, I follow you guys from a distance. I look around the room, and I see mostly the young guys and the old guys over here. But the more <laughs> This is a place we'll always come back to. We'll be following you. Um, you know, I can't wait till next season. So thank you all very much. I appreciate it. I just really don't know what to say. Thank you. Appreciation. Before we move on to our player awards, I'd like to uh, honor a couple people that, I, that I are very, ben very beneficial to our club that I couldn't live without. And if I can't live without them, you guys couldn't live without them because they were, they're what keeps this team running. Um, they do the things that no one else wants to do. They do the things that no one else knows how to do. Um, people like Bob. Playing rugby 
since 1982. And I mean, and, but with all those years of playing rugby, I could get on that field and I could play. And I know how to play, and I know how to play damn well. But to try to, to, try to teach you guys certain things, it's just not my forte, all right? So I have someone who does that for me, and he's the tactician of the team, and that's Coach Paul Kenny. Paul Kenny's famous line to me is, we'll talk about a rugby game on TV, and he'll be and that I saw, and he'll be asking me questions about what I saw, and I'll go, I don't know. I just I watched the game. It was fucking great. It was awesome. He goes, but did you see how this guy went around and did that? And did you see how they stepped here and they set this play up? And I go. Fuck no, but it was an awesome game. <laughs> All right, so Kenny is the guy that can look at something and break it apart and then come up with something for us to use. And he did that this season in a big way. All right, and um, I appreciate Kenny. We all do. Hey! Hey, Kenny. So my other, my other right-hand man is someone who we all enjoy and love on this team now. He's, he, we've taken him in from never playing rugby before. He was, my, he was my youth rugby coach because I took care of his daughter was on the team. And then I said, Ron, you got to help, help me coach. So he started learning. He started learning. He knew. He out. So he started, he started learning rugby. He started going on YouTube. He, he took books and he studied and he studied. And he was able now... He by far is the most superior youth rugby coach out there, not a, including myself. When I, if he's not there and I have to go do his group with the kids, they all moan and complain because Coach Ron's not there. <laughs> and I can honestly tell you, if you guys ever came out to a first practice in the beginning of a youth rugby season, and I tell you, he's got a hard job. He takes care of the six, seven, and eight-year-olds. And if you watch him coach them from the first practice and you come out four weeks later, He's got those kids running lines, passing balls, looping, doing everything possible. And it's just Absolutely. amazing to watch. And Ron nice. has become an important part of our men's club. Yeah. He said, comes out to practice and he's, he's, he asks questions and, he, and I, I tell him what he needs to know. And then he tries to help you guys with it. He films the games for us and he's just an important part of the club. And, oh, yeah. <laughs>
Brian has saved a lot of you guys from long-term fatal injuries because I wouldn't take you out of the office. <laughs> Thank you. So Brian has a very important like job that. with us, and he saves your lives. <laughs> and, when, and then he puts you back together when you go see him in his office. So I'd like to give Brian a nice little token of <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.